Let's talk about the infrared spectra of triple bonds. Let's start with alkynes. To give a representative example, we'll introduce one pentine. And um, based on the formula up here, we are expecting for a triple bond to have a value somewhere in the 2100 region. Uh, for carbon-carbon single bonds, we're still you know, expecting to have something in the fingerprint region, but the most important portion will be the carbon-hydrogen bond, which is somewhere in the 3000 region. So looking at the graph, we see a few features. First things first, marking our reference 3000 inverse centimeter point, what we do see is that there appears a very prominent peak a really, you know, above 3000, in particular, we are here roughly at 3300. Um, so we're more than 100 inverse centimeters away from the 3000 uh, reference line. And this particular peak happens to be very strong. It's not always going to be this way, but the fact that we have a sharp peak appearing above 3000 is very indicative of having a carbon hydrogen bond in which the carbon is sp hybridized and as you may recall from our previous video alkene chs appear very close to the 3000 line you know 3030 3040 um, but definitely below 3100 so the fact that we have a sharp peak appearing above 3100 tells us that this is a carbon hydrogen bond from an alkyne so this is a terminal alkyne on top of that all right, another feature that we see is this peak showing up around 2100, which is what we expect to see for a triple bond. So we are seeing that carbon-carbon triple bond, and the peak is not super strong. It's medium in strength, uh, but it's very clear to see. All right, so this is your terminal alkyne, right? So you have a carbon-hydrogen bond directly on that triple bond. We are also seeing the triple bond itself in the spectrum, but look what happens when you change the picture from going from a terminal alkyne to an internal alkyne in which you do not have carbon hydrogen bonds. First things first, the strong peak that we had here above 3100, it's no longer being uh, observed. It's totally absent in this spectrum. And secondly, even though we do have a triple bond, because this alkyl and that alkyl are kind of giving you a symmetrical picture of the molecule, the more symmetry you have, the lower these peaks tend to be. And so we go from having a medium strength peak to one that's actually very hard to tell that's even present, right? This is almost, almost noise. Um, but, uh, you know, it's showing up right there at 2163. So sometimes you have to be careful, you know, not to miss those Tiny, you know, those tiny features. In, in some cases, you might actually need extra information just to tell that you actually have a triple bond. So um, information from mass spec data might actually be very helpful because that might tell you your molecule has an index hydrogen deficiency of two, which will be definitely in line with having a triple bond, right? So that could help you out. But this is something to be careful about and in the lookout for, right? Because Alkynes, internal alkynes, uh, you don't have peaks above 3000, you know, the peak for the triple bond is definitely weak. Now let's compare this to a nitrile, which also contains a triple bond. All right, so needless to say, in the nitrile, we do not have a carbon-hydrogen bond, so we do not expect to see a peak above 3000, and in fact, we do not see anything above 3000. But we do see a peak, uh, you know, roughly around 2100. Now, technically, this is higher. This is closer to 2300 because the bond that you have here is polar. And for polar bonds, you have an additional, you know, positive charge, negative charge being present in that bond that are creating a stronger bond altogether. So your energies are now shifting um, to higher values. The peak is not very strong, but this kind of depends on how your sample looks. Because sometimes having the right conditions for your sample might actually enhance this peak. So sometimes it may show, you know, kind of weak 
as in the case of 4 methyl pentane nitrile, or in the case of acetonitrile, you have a very strong peak. So don't necessarily go based on the intensity for nitriles, go based on the position, right? And the position is closer to 2300. Now, sometimes you might see some extra fluffing here. These are experimental um, spectra that I'm showing you. And in the case of nitriles, yeah, this absorbs water, you know, plenty. So if this, been, this has been a battle that's been sitting around for a while, you might see some of these water impurities showing up. But all in all, you do see that triple bond and, you know, all is good. So be, be on the lookout for that 2300 peak. That's indicative of having nitriles. Your peak at 2100 is indicative of alkynes. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to talk about the carbonyl compounds and we're going to see how they compare or differ from each other. So see you in the next video.